like giving up the big bad thing. I feel like that's the truth. Mr. Bryant, let me explain, let me be brief about the details of this uh, uh, very unique project that I'm, I'm offering you an exclusive first look opportunity at. Let me break it down for you in the most simplest uh, um, words I can I, I can conjure. Basically, I got myself <clears throat> months ago um, one of I mean I get dozens a day of these uh, films, specular films, on uh, made by independent filmmakers and TV producers, pilots, and such. I'd like to be like a doctor. Like, I think I'm gonna have like money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I know you are. Um, that are all varieties of, of independent um, reality television, so to speak, within that genre. And um, sitting on my desk or on my assistant's desk for over three months was a tape that was called the Graduation Party Labels. We thought nothing of it. Uh, you, we, we actually, every uh, about 90 days, return all of these for legal reasons. As being unopened and unviewed, and therefore we're not liable for any kind of uh, assertion of uh, copyright infringement. Make a long story short, it's a simple sir. We basically, because of attention um, that was called upon us through the uh, federal authorities, which uh, I won't get into the details of why, but make a long story short, so we got a story on our hands that is hotter than fried chicken in South Carolina in August. <laughs> Why were there why were there cameras? What it was just a party. I mean it wasn't why why the why the cameras? Well, we're still trying to piece together exactly why those cameras were there, but I can tell you with millions of dollars worth of artwork and um, a beautiful house like that, uh, obviously whoever rented this place uh, wanted to protect their investment quite a bit. Like security? Was there like a control room or something with, with all the little, little videos or what? You watch a lot of movies, don't you? I, I too many. What, what, 400? That's, why so, that's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. Like I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. They were situated throughout the house, uh, designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. Um, you know, that was the intention. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. Unfortunately, there were some dead zones. Um, several of the cameras malfunctioned. Other of the cameras appeared not to have been in use. Um, but from what we were able to piece together, it certainly uh, appears as though the intent was for security purposes so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is this is a lot a lot to hear. I'm just I didn't I didn't know about why am I so like out of the loop about everything like the the murders. Come on, you're telling me in six months nobody's told you that this guy hung himself. I didn't I didn't hear anything. I've just been kind of in my own little world. You know, I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been kind of hanging with a new crowd, um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings. Um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone. 
since since the shindig. To be honest, I've been a little embarrassed about the whole you know Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. Hmm. Kind of like kind of felt like an ass. Well, I guess at least you know that she uh, wasn't after you for your money or lack thereof. Yeah. Um, it, sh it sucks that it has to be like that. like now. Okay, yeah, good idea. Uh, so this, this guy in the ascot, was he talking to anybody else at the party? Did he, did he arrive there with anybody? Um, he, he had a girl with, uh, with him. Okay. Kind of like a, like a female version of, of himself. She had like a like an ask like a girl a girl Scott, a femme Scott, if you will. I think it's still just called an ask. An ask an ask Scott. Let's um, leave it at that. You know what I'm talking about. Fred Fred from Scooby Doo. So, what do you think? You're an asshole. Why would you say that to me? You think you can just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? No, that's honestly disgusting. I didn't invite you to this party. I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. You're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly. don't want you here. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. You make me look like a plebeian. Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. <laughs> That's insulting. Don't even tell me that bullshit. Seriously, your daddy knows who I am. And you do too, so don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing... Look, your father knows I'm He could smart. snap you in half, okay? Don't give me that bullshit. So, Just watch uh, your back, okay? Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? You're not friends with us anymore. So? It's cool. It's really cool. Look. All I'm saying is this, really. And I came for you. You want to be You're here. You're an asshole. You want to be here. Right? I'm not forgiving you. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. <laughs> no, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. I'm gonna take you on tour with me. You wanna come? You got all that money, whatever. I have my money. I'm taking you on tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence, and I got in. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? No, you're not gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. No, you're not. Don't do this <laughs> shit to me. I'm serious. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I'm serious. You're not going. Don't even fucking cry. I'm serious. <laughs> I have to go. No, you don't. Think of, think about the life that we can live. I mean, we've always talked about it. I have to go. No. I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, look, okay. All right, all right. When it's all said and done... <sighs> yes, music is my life. But you know where you stand with me. You remember? You remember? Didn't you remember how we were? You remember sophomore year? I played that song for you. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something with my life. But this is your. This is what you're telling me to do all the time. You're telling me to just, you know, be above my father, be better than that. And I'm trying to. Okay. And now I've done something and now you don't want me to do it. 
My dad doesn't know that I got it. <sighs> so, so you're gonna tell him? No, I can't tell him. Why? Art? <laughs> so? Art? You, you're already, you're already <laughs> you, think, you think that my parents want me to go to art school? It's a joke to them. Art? Oh my god. They've seen they their would, stuff. They, they, they would rather me sit on a couch all day being fed grapes than go to art school. Art is like dirt on the bottom of their shoe. They oh, it's like art. mice in their walls, you know? They just like... They just see it as trash. Alright, They look. see it... No, but this is the problem. He can't know. Look, he look. He cannot know. All I'm saying, you, you, you're so fucking concerned about your dad and all this shit, but this is what I need to figure out. I need to figure out either you're coming with me which I know you fucking want to come with me because you want this. I want you too. So um, either you, you, you're you going to have to fucking choose to stay in New York and do the whole art thing. Or you can go to fucking Europe with me and tour and you can do your art. And like in Europe, it's more progressive. What do you say? Please, don't. I'm not, why am I fucking saying please? For us. After all the fuck we fucking been through, you're gonna really tell me no that you can't go. Do you know how much I put into this shit? You're the only one that I fucking care about. I don't know, all these fucking girls, all these girls around me and shit, you're the only one I write to. I've, I've written like, what, four songs about you? And you're gonna make me go through this process by my fucking self. You're gonna make me go to fucking Europe. You're gonna send me to fucking Europe. And while you're gonna fucking stay in New York and do what you wanna do, and not even fucking care about my needs for you, I want you there. I want you. I want you there. I've written letters. Songs. I showed up to this bullshit ass party because I knew you would be there. I'm sorry. <sighs> Shit, man. That's that's like that's what she, that's what she wants, you know, like kissing strange men with, with nice blue shirts. So, you're telling me that she accepted your proposal, then rejected yeah. you. Well, you. You were there. And then made out with another guy and you caught her and... Like, what, or like where do you even get a shirt like that? I hate all my clothes. You love her. She yeah. broke Hell your yeah. heart and... You're a fuck it. Move on. When you think about it, like, I gave four years to her, you think I'd be, like, you know, a mess right now, but, but, you know, I guess, like, you know, I love her that much, she's great. You know, I hope we can still talk on the phone and have coffee, have brunch. She knows her way around, you know, she's an omelet. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I think of all the stupid fucking people I've met tonight, you're by far the stupidest. <laughs> <laughs> I you're an idiot. I know. But I, I fuck it, man. There's nothing you can do. That's that's what we've learned. Yeah, I mean, there's I think, nothing. If anything, any of us can do about anything. I mean, like write the, write this down. You know, like you know, just like move on, be happy for her. This is what she, I don't want her to do with me if she's miserable. You know, I don't want her to hate our hate our lives together. Like her, her mom and dad, they can't be in the same room together for more than five minutes without being you know, ripping each other's heads off. I don't want that. I don't want her. He said, he said, I'm, I'm the stupidest. What, like, what, what? Like, I mean, come on. on that a little bit I, for me. Do you not see yourself? I mean, she made a joke out of you. She, in front of everyone, accepted your proposal, and then rejects you, and then makes out it with another guy at this party. Moments later. Uh, fuck it, man. Fuck it. I, I, don't, I don't even care. I don't, I don't care. I know. I'm like, I should be, I'm like the biggest loser, but fuck it, man. Like, I guess I'm stupid. Or you don't know. No. You're stupid. With, you're, your scarf is stupid. I'm not. I'm the smartest 
I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm I'm not a I'm a winner, you know. You know, I did. Well, I learned a lot. You know, I'm not. Shut shut. I I don't. Shut your I don't. Mouth. I don't think you're exactly a winner here, but stupid shit happens to stupid people, and there's nothing we can do about it. And you've learned that, and it's. I mean, it's. Can you have you ever done anything stupid? You seem you could be you seem like you have stupid moments. I'm, I mean, I think you 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 come across you try to be like this sophisticated, you know, sexy guy with your fancy boots and, and your your fancy jackets and you know the way you sit with you know your your all fancy. But you you do stupid things. I'm not the only stupid one in this room. I think I think you know like what anything recently that you could think of maybe make me feel a little better. I, I guess, I, yeah, I, I've done stupid like shit. Like what? What? What stupid shit? Uh, I mean, you know, we all do shit. Yeah, like, what kind of <laughs> what kind of shit? Well, I, you know, I'm you know, a little too drunk and may you have, fucking idiot. May have You're a fucking idiot. Crashed a car, but you know what? You, you fucking idiot. About it. Stop drinking. Stop driving. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're a stupid little man I mean, in your stupid little chair. What are your goals I in life? I don't need goals. I've, I don't. I don't need. Everybody's anything. gotta have goals, unless why, you're stupid. Why not why not? why? why not? why don't you have any goals? I mean, what do I need? But why you ask? What, what do you have? What do you have? You don't have any. What do you? You got a few dollars. I have everything I need, and anything I want. Like what? Like what? Whatever I want. Like what? Like what do you have that's good? Like what? Like. Do you have love? Does somebody love you? Do you love somebody? You know, money can't buy happiness. I mean, I was happy. I never had, you know, money. But I, I've been happy. I'm happy now. I'm not happy now, but I will be happy, you know, a week from now. Like, you know, a month from now. I've been a pretty bitch in time the last four years. And I'm not Mr. Moneybags. Do you have love? You know, answer the question? Because you seem like a sad, little, lonely man. With all your, with your money, a big wad of money in your pocket, and an empty saddle okay, fucking I mean, heart. What, what has love done for you? It's done a lot for me, man. It's it's made me who I am today. You know, it may not be much of me think I'm a fucking idiot, but you know, I'm kind of proud of who I am. I kind of like myself. You know, I look in the mirror and I feel good about who I am. You know, yeah, I'm fucking put, Craig, man. But I mean, you and, put yourself out there tonight. For love. So I, you know, I took a shot. That's life, man. You get back on the horse. And that's what I'm doing. I'm fucking sea biscuit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. And I looked like a fool. I looked like a fool in a, in a room full of fools. And you're a that's fool. True. Have you ever had your heart broken? We all have, I think. Have you, though? Pers personally? Yes, and I learned not to trust people. I mean, that's what you're supposed to learn from these things. I have no idea what you learned tonight, but. It's weird. Yeah, it's, you, you don't... Cynicism is the goal of love, to, to be cynical like you? I mean, I think that's all we've got. There's nothing we can change. So why have anything but cynicism? You know, I believe, you know, I, believe, I think that God's got a plan for me, and that I'm gonna meet a great girl. She's gonna be hot, and she's gonna be nice, and she's gonna have big old boobs, and... She's gonna, you know, think I'm funny and cute, and she's gonna want to marry me, and she's, and she's gonna want to have my little, you know, goofy-looking babies. What? Well, best of luck to you. What do you believe in? I believe that, that really life is about getting what you want and and being whatever you want, and you know. That shit's gonna happen that we can't change, and if we can't change it, then what's. Do you have everything the... you want? No, and I'm never gonna get it. We could, you, know, you don't know that, you know, if you work hard enough. Well, I'm not going to make myself look like a fool. I'm well, you know, if you're afraid to look like a fool, you're never gonna have anything worth having, because everyone's made an ass out of themselves. You know, you know, fucking. Uh. uh you know the guy, the guy who invented the, the light bulb, whatever fucking his name is, I can't, I can't remember because I'm just in such, a, in such a mess right now. But he, he fell a bunch of times, people were laughing at him. Thomas Edison, 
But he's awesome now. You know what? We got all these lights. You want to be here in the dark? I do this. I don't want to argue with you. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Ruin it. Just you know. What do you, What do you think? Give me. Just I want to. I want to hear what you think. Maybe there is more to life than cynicism, but I don't see how you find that out of what you went through tonight. What I got from that? Like I know it's strange. I know like most guys wouldn't feel the way I do. But can Can you like? Can you feel what I'm feeling for a second? Life is shit, and there's nothing but cynicism. Agree, agree to disagree. Cheers. Yeah? Cheers? Alright. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. I'm actually not saying that. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. <sighs> it's kind of a shame it had to end up like this. It's not all fun and games. Anytime you have a party involved with alcohol and people who think that they are better than everybody else, there's going to be things that happen, people that get hurt, and in the end... I mean,
question. Do we ever cheat on our husband? I didn't think I would, but do we? <laughs> do I have to trip acid to like see you again or how's it work? Because I don't really want to keep doing this acid, but I do like talking to you. Do Hello? I Hello? Hello? Hey, who's that? What's up? Is that T? Yeah, it's it's T. Who's this? What's that? Are you ready to do another scene? Well, yeah, I'm finishing up here, uh, and I'll be done this, I think, in five minutes. Uh, okay, no. Well, I'm about to be finished. I'm gonna. Cut, I, I can uh, be up in five minutes to do it. She's just doing her monologue right now. Okay. So I'll be done in five minutes, though. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. I'll come up and then we'll do it. All right. So, so pick the place you want to go. Okay. Or if you want to go down here, just wait five minutes. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. So I have to this know. is the end, last 10 minutes, whatever you got left. Mm -hmm. Do I, if I, if I like drop acid again, am I going to see you in like 10 years from now? 20 years from now? Is this going to happen like every fucking time I do this? <laughs> uh, or is there a place I can get through meditation? Is there a way I can do it? Can I like channel this? Can, do, am I... Is this like in my own power, like in myself, right now? Do I do I have that this energy in me to create you again? Hmm. And I can ask you anything. Do I? Am I like in another dimension, giving my twelve-year-old self advice the way yeah. you're like, you know? Am I? Am I sitting somewhere talking to? To, to me when I was like seven right now and is she talking to somebody is she talking to herself when she was two and is it is two-year-old talking to the womb and is the womb talking to mom god that's good as it can I can I talk to myself as myself in the future talking to myself from the past. The, the, the spirit gets confused, say, say it again, be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're like, all right, wait, how, this, I mean like this. I mean it like this, I mean like this, like follow me here. It's like, if I, okay, I'm, if I'm 22, can I talk to myself when I'm 30? Talking to myself at when I was 22, talking to myself at 30. Like a conference call. It's like a, like a conference call. It would be like, hello, hi, I'm 22, hey, I'm 30. Oh, hey, I'm 22-year-old talking to the 30-year-old self, but the, th hi, I'm a 30-year-old self talking to the 22-year-old self talking to the 30-year-old self. It's like, comes full circle, you know? Would that work out? Can I, like, do that? Can I, like, plan that? <laughs> Whoa, when do we die? Can I, well, if I die, can I talk to my dead self? Because technically, technically my dead self would be dead. I don't know that if that would work. But maybe, no, maybe, I mean, like, that's, mm, what's well, dead, really? I mean, dead, like, yeah, like, my mortality, I die, I die. But it's like, maybe I'm dead now, and maybe your life. Thirty second wrap up, and, if, and, we, and you get up when you're done. And if you're alive, and I'm dead, that's not gonna work out. I have to be alive, and you have to be dead. Or we can we're, we're both living, and we are one. Yeah. Cool. So I'll probably I'm gonna like. Talk to you soon, man. And I'm gonna we're gonna get this shit figured out. We're gonna work it out, and then we're gonna talk to us later, cause that's awesome. Thank you. I go. Are you looking like walk upstairs and like out the door? <laughs> Do you fly? Do you just like teleport? Are you just gonna like go away? Okay.
that's it's actually that's it's really lame. Mm. But cool, nice to meet you. Nice to know us. Cool, take care, man. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm, us. Nice to meet us. Take care. Good. Let's do a second take of that, right? Go, actually. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet us. We are awesome. <laughs> take care of yourself. I'll take care of myself. We will take care of ourselves. <laughs> and that's cool, man. I'm, I'm glad we did this. It's awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if my life, you know, ends up being just like this. I would, this that would, would be, be a compliment for her. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if my life ended up like, like yours. Like, like mine and yours. <laughs> like us. I wouldn't mind if if I ended up like you, that'd be cool. I guess the only way I can go wrong is if I don't end up me. I guess the only way that that would work out is if I don't end up as... I suppose that the, uh, the only way that I could screw that up is if I'm... is if I'm not really me. Well, where the hell have you been? I've been fucking looking for you all over. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm partying. I'm having a good time. Yeah, first we're fucking dancing with each other and then you just disappear. I haven't seen you all night. Would you fucking relax? We're partying. It's our graduation party. I'm chilling like... I'm what the hell is wrong with you? All night. I'm partying. I'm mingling. I'm having a good time. You're fucking drunk. What is wrong with you? This is my fucking problem. You've been drinking all fucking night. Are you kidding me? Is that all you care about, Brandon? These are you fucking kidding me right now? What's your problem? I'm not drunk. What is wrong with you? This is what's fucking wrong with you. Would you fucking relax? We're You're at fucking, fucking drunk. Party. You're embarrassing me. I'm embarrassing you? You embarrassed me. You know, I fucking talked to Angie. She told me what the fuck happened. You spoke to Angie? Yeah, I spoke to Angie. You're gonna fucking embarrass me in front of my friends like that? Are you crazy? Your friends? My is that friend. what you care about? Last three months mean nothing to you. All you focus is on school, 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 and sport. You're fucking embarrassing me in front of everybody. Embarrassing you? Embarrassing me. You're acting like a fucking slut. Do that, yo. How dare you? You just changed. These last three months, these last years mean nothing. All you do is focus on your studies and sports. What I don't even know you anymore. You, I don't know you anymore. I don't. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. Well, I want to fucking graduate. That, that was the whole point of this. I have nothing but time now. Time? Yeah. We spend no time together. I don't even know you. Since we lost our son, that's... You've totally changed. And I don't like this part of you at all. No, you fucking changed. I've changed? Yeah, you've changed. I'm just so... You changed. No, you've changed. We don't spend time together. We we don't even know each other. I don't know you anymore. This relationship means nothing. You, you, you know what? You're fucking right. It means nothing at all. I'm wasting my fucking time. My fucking money. I'm giving up everything for you. Time, I'm trying to get my fucking mom time, for you. Time, your, mo your mom never liked me. And I don't think she ever will. And that plays a big factor. And now I see why you act the way you act. Because it's a big mother. I see what I was fucking shit. Come here. You just turned into a fucking slut. Is what you... How dare you? I'll take that. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking be embarrassed. I waste my time, my fucking effort. I wasted my money on this shit. It's fucking pointless. It's pointless, pointless. And I'm tired Waste of this. Time. Good. It's good. It was okay. It was good. It was good. It's you if you have a crime. Not so, Wes.
westernized that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have be, to be, be westernized. Like, be American, but don't do this or this or this. Or, oh, yeah. They yeah, have don't list. be at all sexual yeah. or ever be with anyone that isn't, you know, making six figures and a doctor. And, oh, you have to be a professional. Or, you can't yeah. not be a professional. And. Just, you just have to be well respected and that's that's the major I goal can't and it's about whatever whatever everybody else thinks it's not it's about, always about whatever everyone yeah. else thinks it's yeah. never about what you want for yourself no and it's not about what makes you happy it's I, about making other people uh, happy i just want my kids to know that they can do with their life what they want to do with their life yeah and i want them to be able to explore everything that you know that, you know, sometimes we don't get to explore with parents that are very specific in what we should do and what we shouldn't do. And yeah. I want them to explore and just be open-minded and just be able to live life any way they kind of want. And I think that that's important. And one of the benefits to growing up here. I'm so sick of... Yeah, I just... I'm gonna run away. Naveen, I'm running away. And I'm going to just, God, be myself for once. Just like yeah. figure out. Absolutely. Who the fuck I am. Do you it. Know? Do it. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy for you. Uh, I'll give you a call when I'm on the road. Okay. <laughs> I'll love to hear from you. <laughs> All right, good. Now, guess what? You're not going to be. We're not doing the whole scene again. You're doing one thing, which is I want to just see it from this way. Uh, the kiss and and then the first laugh. The, no more Indian speech. It's just the kiss and then the laugh. Because I love the like I'm sorry thing. Like it's so embarrassing. But I, I want to get it from his angle because okay. he's the one that's going to be like okay. more you know better. So ready? Three, two. Just quiet and then there's the move. Okay. So she's looking down and you're looking at her and then you decide to go in and make the move. Do it again because I didn't have any focus. Go. Oh, okay. Go. I think I was thinking yeah. about what my parents want. Um. <laughs> you're listening, uh huh. You're nodding. You're right. Okay, good. Yeah, you're listening to um. Two, one. All night. I'm partying. I'm mingling. I'm having a good time. You're fucking drunk. What is wrong with you? This is my fucking problem. You've been drinking all fucking night. Are you kidding me? Is that all you care about, Brandon? These are you fucking kidding me right now? What's your problem? I'm not drunk. What is wrong with you? This is what's fucking wrong with you. Would you fucking relax? We're you're at fucking, fucking drunk. Party. You're embarrassing me. I'm embarrassing you? You're embarrassing me. You know, I fucking talked to Angie. She told me what the fuck happened. You spoke to Angie? Yeah, I spoke to Angie. You're gonna fucking embarrass me in front of my friends like that? Are you crazy? Your friends? Is my that friend. all you care about? Last three months mean nothing to you. All you focus is on school, 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 and sport. You're fucking embarrassing me in front of everybody. Embarrassing you? Embarrassing me. You're acting like a fucking slut. You don't have to do that, yo. How dare you? You just changed. These last three months, these last years mean nothing. All you do is focus on your studies and sports. What I don't even know you anymore. You. I don't know you anymore. I don't. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. Well, I want to fucking graduate. That, that was the whole point of this. I have nothing but time now. Time? Yeah. We spend no time together. I don't even know you. And since we lost our son, that's... You've totally changed. And I don't like this part of you at all. No, you fucking changed. I've changed? Yeah, you've changed. I'm just so... you changed. No, you've changed. We don't spend time together. We, we don't even know each other. I don't know you anymore. This relationship means nothing. You, you, you know what? You're fucking right. It means nothing at all. Wasting my fucking time. 
my fucking money. I'm giving up everything for you. Time, I just want to get my fucking mom time, for you. Time, your, mo your mom never likes me. And I don't think she ever will. And that plays a big factor. And now I see why you act the way you act. Because it's a your mother. I see what I want. This fucking shit is not worth it. Come here. You just turned into a fucking slut is what you... How dare you? I'll take that. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking be embarrassed. I wasted my time, my fucking effort. I wasted my money on this shit. It's fucking pointless. It's pointless, it's pointless. And I'm tired wasted of this. Good, it's good, sorry. It was okay, it was good. It was good. It's you if you have a crime. Not so westernized that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, be, be, be westernized. Like, be American, but don't do this or this or this or. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, don't list. be at all sexual yeah. or ever be with anyone that isn't, you know, making six figures and a doctor. And, oh, you have to be a professional. Or, you can't yeah. not be a professional. And. Ugh, just, ugh. You just have to be well respected, and that's that's the major I goal. Can't and it's about whatever whatever everybody else thinks. It's not. It's about, always about whatever everyone yeah. else thinks. It's yeah. never about what you want for yourself. No, and it's not about what makes you happy. It's I, about making other people uh, happy. I just want my kids to know that they can do with their life what they want to do with their life. Yeah, and I want them to be able to explore everything that you know. That you know, sometimes we don't get to explore with parents that are very <laughs> specific in what we should do and what we shouldn't do. And yeah. I want them to explore and just be open-minded and just be able to live life any way they kind of want. And I think that that's important. And one of the just benefits so to growing up here. I'm so sick of yeah. I just I'm gonna run away, Naveen. I'm running away. And I'm going to just, God, be myself for once. Just like yeah. figure out. Absolutely. Who the fuck I am, do you it. Know? Do it. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy for you. Uh, I'll give you a call when I'm on the road. Okay. <laughs> I'll love to hear from you. <laughs> All right, good. Now, guess what? You're not really, we're not doing the whole scene again. You're doing one thing, which is I want to just see it from this way. Uh, the kiss and and then the first laugh. The, no more Indian speech. It's just the kiss and then the laugh. Because I love the like I'm sorry thing. Like it's so embarrassing. But I, I want to get it from his angle because okay. he's the one that's going to be like okay. more you know embarrassed. So ready? Three, two. Just quiet and then there's the move. Okay. So she's looking down and you're looking at her and then you decide to go in and make the move. <laughs> yeah. Do it again because I didn't have any focus. Go. Oh, okay. Go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so angry. Oh, yeah. I, don't even know. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Um, well, did thanks. that just happen? No, I Seriously, did that just happen? Um, oh that would have been uh, an ideal world. Yeah, I think I was thinking yeah. about what my parents want. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you're listening, uh huh, you're nodding, you're right, okay, good. Yeah, you're listening to them. Um, two, one. Uh, are you. I mean, are you sad? Well, yeah, it's just, it's just weird. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like him. I don't, I don't want to sound like a dick. I don't care. I, I don't really care about him. He, he called me stupid, and I challenged him on his on who he was, and maybe that got to him. I mean, I mean, he called me stupid, and I kind of, 
I kind of got his face. I, I don't. I wonder if that. Did they know why he did it, or like what? What was his? There was no note. He didn't leave leave anything. Just... No note. Actually, he left a note, but that's private. Just say that. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, like, yeah, but that's private. There was a note, but the family asked us to keep that private. Um, it's not an active crime uh, investigation at this time. Did you see the note? I did. Can you like can you give me anything like like the spark like the cliff notes like what it what it like what it say? He was a very uh, depressed young man. He was worried about the fact that everything that night was videotaped, and he knew he'd be disinherited. Okay. And then you're like videotaped. Wait. What? Wait. All right. I'm gonna get to that. Okay. All right. Ready? Chief from the top. Yep. What do you say? Uh, what I say? Was there a note? Uh, what, can you tell me about the note? Well, can you can you like tell me like a little bit about the note? Were you aware that the activities of the the, the why don't you say, well, the note's centered on the fact that he thought he, he embarrassed his family. Okay, but, but the, don't tell him about the, that, the, the, the video till the end. In other words, he was worried about being disenfranchised, disinherited. Why? Because of his activities at the party. No, how, how would they know? Because didn't you know there was 424 cameras around the house? Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay. Um, well, the note's centered around the fact that he felt that he had shamed his family and himself um, and he could not bear to have the world see uh, video for the world to see um, his actions of that evening. What, what do you mean? What, did, how would they somehow like a camera phone or something? Are you telling me that you weren't aware that there were over 400 miniature cameras recording all of the events of that evening? What are you, what are you talking about? 400? Where, where were the cameras? I haven't seen any cameras. Most of the cameras are the newest technology. There were some that were as small as a Tic Tac, other ones that were a little bit more obvious. Um, like the real world? I'm not familiar with that show, but... Uh, Suffice it to say that there were very small cameras present throughout the home. Um, we'd like to think that they caught most of the pertinent uh, events of that evening. Um, why were there Why were there cameras? What, it was just a party. I mean, it wasn't. Why Why the Why the cameras? Well, we're still trying to piece together exactly why those cameras were there. But I can tell you, with millions of dollars worth of artwork and um, a beautiful house like that. Uh, obviously, whoever rented this place uh, wanted to protect their investment quite a bit. Like security? Was there like a control room or something with with all the little little videos or what? You watch a lot of movies, don't you? I, I too many. What? What? Four hundred? That's why? So that's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. Like I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. They were situated throughout the house, uh, designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. Um, you know, that was the intention. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. Unfortunately, there were some dead zones. Um, several of the cameras malfunctioned, other of the cameras appeared not to have been in use. Um, but from what we were able to piece together, it certainly uh, appears as though the intent was for security purposes so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is, this is a lot. A lot to hear. I'm just. I didn't. I didn't know about. Why am I so like out of the loop about everything? Like the the murders. Come on. You're telling me in six months nobody's told you that this guy hung himself. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. I've just been kind of in my own little world. You know. I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been kind of hanging with a new crowd. Um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings. Um. 
you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. I've been embarrassed since I got rejected. To be honest, I've been a little embarrassed about the whole, you know, Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. Hmm. Kind of like, kind of felt like an ass. Well, I guess at least you know that she uh, wasn't after you for your money or lack thereof. Yeah, um, it, sh it sucks that she's married now. And she's Sorry, it's just he was moving around. It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, there was a girl there with an ascot for a girl who seemed like, you know, like she wrote the Peppery Handbook. She, and all she did was talk about, about people behind their backs. Yeah, why don't you nickname her like Buffy or something? Yeah, like yeah, honestly, say that. Okay, but I don't know her name, right. but, but, well, but she was, to that's Ren. Remember her? What? Ren. Talk about Ren. Like, uh, she had an ascot for, like, a girl. She was very preppy, very, like, boarding schoolish. She kept talking, like, down to people, like she was royalty. All right. So this this guy in the ascot was he talking to anybody else at the party? Did he did he arrive there with anybody? Um, he, he had a girl with uh, with him. Okay. Kind of like a like a female version of, of himself. She had like a like an ask like a girl a girl Scott a femme Scott if you will. I think it's still just called an ascot. An ascot. An ascot. Let's um, leave it back. You know what I'm talking about. Fred, Fred from Scooby Doo. Um, a scarf, actually, guys. Come on. V Vilma, um, Daphne, um, and she was, um, you know, kind of, kind of like snobby. That's like the impression I got. Okay, so this guy, the the, the gentleman in the ascot, and the girl in the scarf. Um, you said you thought that they were snobby. Did they have any, uh, an argument with anybody while you were present? What am I supposed to say? About they, they were just talking about people behind their back. No, they, uh, they, they actually, they smiled. They treated everyone great, but then I heard them when, one time talking about everyone when well, I was taking well, a piss. That's what I would say. I'd be like, you know, I was sitting there and, and you know, they, these two people come to talk to them and they were really, really nice. You know, 20 seconds later, those people walked away and they were sitting there ripping the guy. You know, yeah, talking exactly. Talking about how, um, that kind of know, thing. He smells or, you know, whatever it yeah. might be, you know, just very brutal stuff or, you know. Money, just, society, right. they're obsessed with all oh, that. Yeah. You could say something like, uh, you know, talking about Trust funds. how uh, he didn't know. Uh, they made fun of me because I was on the social register, whatever that is. No. No, I mean. It was, well, I'm just thinking of something more mainstream, like. Uh, just like they were know, snobs. He, he, they, they were oh, with yeah. him. Just go off. Cause last, week, last, week, yeah. last week he went to the gas station and bought $4 worth of gas. Yeah, what, you know, yeah anything going. Yeah. Or what they drove, whatever. Go. All right. Um, okay, so oh. so this guy, in the, this gentleman in the ascot and uh, the girl in the scarf, they were talking bad about other party goers then? Yeah, you know what? It was they were kind of like phonies, kind of two faced. Like, they'd say something really nice, like, um, oh, Craig, I love your jacket. And then, you know, I, I'd hear him, you know, like, 20 minutes later, like, what a stupid fucking jacket. Um, and just talking shit about everyone, you know, about her hair and, you know, his yellow teeth. And um, just thinking they're, like, better than everyone, you know. Okay, so you you actually heard them talking about, t talking negatively about some of the other party yours then. Yeah, they made me feel crappy too because they didn't have any money. Like, you know, $48. They, they were like, they thought it was some kind of like, like deadbeat or something. Um, so they, it kind of sucked. Well, would you, is it fair to say that they were somewhat elitist? Yeah, you could say that. Let me ask you this. Was Mr. Ascot drinking a beer or... Uh, a, a glass of wine. He had, you know, like a like a tall, fancy wine glass, pinky out most most of the evening. Um, you know, I bet if like you, you could offer him a beer and he'd kind of like he's like, huh, you know, a beer. That's you know a peasant's drink, kind of thing. Um, you know, he talks about like you know popping open a bottle of Cristal at you know 
the thousand dollars a bottle or whatever, you know, just silly stuff like that. So he seemed pretty into money. Yeah. Was he one of the individuals that seemed to recognize the value of the artwork in the lobby? Well, the box moves around, it ca keeps covering your face. Yeah, it, 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 it's like the focus will stay on my face. Wait, I got it now. There's no gyroscope in three, in it. two, wow. and one. Um, what would happen if... This is high-end stuff. What would happen if I, uh, if we were flying midair, and one of the, like that door, you opened it. Would it suck everyone out? If, I mean, how does it's, that work? It's a plug-type door, and you can't... Yeah, that she uh, wasn't after you... Uh, for your money, or lack thereof. Yeah, um, it, sh it sucks that it has to be like this. And like now. Okay, yeah, good idea. So this, this guy in the ascot, was he talking to anybody else at the party? Did he, did he arrive there with anybody? Um, he, he had a girl with, uh, with him. Okay. Kind of like a like a female version of, of himself. She had like a like an ask like a girl a girl Scott, a femme Scott, if you will. I think it's still just called an ascot. An, as, an ascot. Let's um, leave it at that. You know what I'm talking about. Fred Fred from Scooby Doo. Uh, Mr. Bryant, let me explain, let me be brief about the details of this uh, uh, very unique project that I'm, I'm offering you an exclusive first look opportunity at. Let me break it down for you in the most simplest uh, um, words I can, I, I can conjure. Basically, I got myself <clears throat> months ago um, one of, I mean, I get dozens a day of these uh, films, specular films, uh, made by independent filmmakers and TV producers, pilots, and such. I'd like to be like a doctor. I think I'm gonna have like money. I know you want. 
um, that are all varieties of, of independent uh, reality television, so to speak, within that genre. And um, sitting on my desk or my assistant's desk for over three months was a tape that was called The Graduation Party Labeled. We thought nothing of it. Uh, you, we, we actually, every uh, about 90 days, return all of these for legal reasons. As being unopened and unviewed, and therefore we're not liable for any kind of uh, assertion of uh, cop. So, what do you think? You're an asshole. Why would you say that to me? You think you could just go gallivanting around the world pretending to be a fucking rock star? No, that's honestly disgusting. I didn't invite you to this party. I can't believe you showed up here. Stop. You're acting like you don't even want me here. Yeah, like, I honestly. don't want you here. That's insulting. Do you know who I am? I get more in allowance than you'll make in your entire life. Please, baby. Make me look like a plebeian. Do you know who my father is? I don't give a fuck about your dad. <laughs> That's insulting. Don't even tell me that bullshit. Seriously, your daddy knows who I am. And you do too, so don't give me that bullshit. If my dad knew what we were doing... Look, your father knows I'm He could snap you in half, okay? Don't give me that bullshit. So, Just uh, watch your back, okay? Why would you say all that, really? Are you kidding me? You're not friends with us anymore. So? It's cool. It's really cool. Look, all I'm saying is this, really. And I came for you. You want to be here. You're an asshole. You want to be here. Really? I'm not forgiving you. This isn't an easy out for you. I don't want you to think that. I'm not like your little whore or whatever. <laughs> no, you're not my whore. You're just my bitch. I'm gonna take you on tour with me. You wanna come? You got all that money? Whatever, I have my money. I'm taking a tour. It's gonna be cool. I'll take you to Europe. You can have all that wine that you've been dreaming about. I have to tell you something. What's up? I know this is really random. Um, I applied to art school at Sarah Lawrence, and I got in. So what are you saying to me? That you're gonna go? Be right infringement. Make a long story short. It's simple, sir. We basically, because of attention um, that was called upon us through the uh, federal authorities, which uh, I won't get into the details of why, but make a long story short, so we got a story on our hands that is hotter than fried chicken in South Carolina in August. <laughs> Why were there why were there cameras? What it was just a party. I mean it wasn't why why the why the cameras? Well, we're still trying to piece together exactly why those cameras were there, but I can tell you with millions of dollars worth of artwork and um, a beautiful house like that, uh, obviously whoever rented this place uh, wanted to protect their investment quite a bit. Like security? Was there like a control room or something with, with all the little, little videos or what? You watch a lot of movies, don't you? I, I would, too many. What, what, 400? That's, why so, that's like a ridiculous amount of cameras. Like I could understand maybe like one for each room and one for outside, but 400, that's, that's like a little creepy. They were situated throughout the house, uh, designed from what we could gather so that there would be no corner that would not be filmed. Um, you know, that was the intention. It appeared as though they weren't going to have any dead zones. Unfortunately, there were some dead zones. Um, several of the cameras malfunctioned. Other of the cameras appeared not to have been in use. Um, but from what we were able to piece together, it certainly uh, 
appears as though the intent was for security purposes so that the events of that evening could be recorded. We haven't ruled out blackmail as another possible motive. This is this is a lot a lot to hear and I'm just I didn't I didn't know about why am I so like out of the loop about everything like the, the murders. Come on. You're telling me in six months nobody's told you that this guy hung himself. I didn't I didn't hear anything. I've just been kind of in my own little world. You know, I've made a lot of new friends. I've kind of been kind of hanging with a new crowd. Um, kind of like the popular crowd. Um, I go to like wine tastings. Um, you know, the horse races, art galleries, um, Broadway plays. I haven't, I haven't, you know, really spoken to anyone since, since the shindig. To be honest, I've been a little embarrassed about the whole, you know, Angie dumping me thing. I felt a little stupid. Hmm. Kind of like, kind of felt like an ass. Well, I guess at least you know.